Attention to the Terminal United Airlines is paying cost for a team of the We just sold out all the floors. Take me on a trip, I to go someday. Take me to New York, I to see LA. I really want to. Can I see everybody? That's not gonna happen. There we go. Hey guys, we just landed in London. All doing the London First program. We're about to be in London, so there's not much else to say now. I guess we'll see you there. We're lost. <laughs> okay, so hey guys, I just made it to the university and I made it to my room. The flight was okay. There was a crying baby that made it pretty hard to sleep and somebody kept kicking me, but it was okay. It's all worth it. There were two other London First people on my flight and then we met another London First person who had flown into Heathrow earlier and we all took the Heathrow Express and just crammed into a taxi. And we're here now and I think we're gonna go on a tour of the grounds pretty soon. I met a few of the UVA people and they gave us, let me show you some of the stuff they gave us. I hope this stupid thing is recording. Okay, it is. So we got some swag. We got a UVA bright orange folder, an oyster card, just, you know, paperwork. String bags because what is the start of college if you don't get a string bag from it? This thing, that's actually pretty cute. It says 2022. We care about honor at UVA, I guess. So yeah, for now I might edit or I might try and maybe go buy towels. That's something I need to do. They have bedding and linens and stuff here for us, but they don't have towels. That's one thing we need to buy and I didn't bring, which is funny considering I brought two massive suitcases, but I didn't even bring a towel. Yeah, I mean, everything's pretty good right now. And let me, this might, this is probably not gonna be my room, but I wanna show you here. Here's room 104, desk in a wardrobe which has, I need to buy hangers because I brought a lot more clothes than that. I don't really know what you'd use that for, to be honest. Three drawers, this little desk and a, oh, and here's another thing. They give you one of these with your student ID and key in there. Earlier in the summer, we had to send passport pictures and I guess they use that to make the Regents University ID. I look like death in it, but I don't really care. Here is the lovely view. Also, this is a cool little thing. There's a fireplace with a trash can in it, but you know, this is all the stuff that I've somehow been here for five minutes and already made the room messy, so. But in terms of what we're doing for the rest of the day, we have this calendar. I feel pretty certain that people in the hall can hear me speaking right now and are probably really annoyed, so I'm gonna shut up now and just go about my day. Smoking. They, they sent like a email that their dorms are only non- Why is it so pretty? No. Just cause Oh, can we go over the bridge? I want to go over the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's his birthday. It is a duck. Oh, it's an Egyptian goose. I don't know. Which one would you use? Literally, why is this so beautiful? That's a duck. Basically, on the first date right now, anyways. Tell them what happened today. Which part? All of it. Like, I fell up the stairs. Let's go, let's okay, go. that's probably not the most important thing. Um, today we had a really good tea time. So, it was a really good time. 
Yeah, but like what day is today? Today's my birthday. Today's your birthday. And I turned 18 in the air. And where are you right now? And I'm in London, that's I guess. That's pretty cool. I, I guess that's kind of a cool birthday. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't feel real. I feel like I'm dreaming. I mean, right not now. as good as your like Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, that's old, true. You know? I feel like it's not as good as Not quite there. Just yeah. Look at all these flowers we planted. I know. They're this beautiful. took a really long time. Yeah. Guys. I hope you're happy. We <laughs> There's so much support and love. Oh, hi. This <laughs> <laughs> to be like a cute coffee I, I shop. All people will. Maybe. <laughs> I have never seen a sorry a duck that looks like that. No way. I know someone who puts it's like birthday dinner is mustard. I would cry if that girl. Was are mustard. you okay? The first bite. I would grab like that. Into it. Into it. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yes. Happy birthday to you. Yes. Yeah. This is turning into a birthday vlog for you. It's not even about London first anymore. Oh. Isn't this so fun? Look at this one. If you need it. There he goes. There he goes. Let's see what you're paying with on your 18th birthday. Oh. You got a queen on there. It's going well. I'm not gonna say that I'm drunk or anything because my mom could end up seeing this. Okay, so it's been a while since I've updated you guys and it's like 10 p.m. right now so I'm gonna try to speak quietly so hopefully you can still hear me. But today's been a really long day. It's fine. I've moved this bed over here but I feel like that's, made pro that's definitely too close to that so... And I haven't unpacked at all because it's been so busy. Turns out it was one of the London First peoples. His name is Jason. It was his birthday today, so we had to celebrate. And yeah, we walked around to buy some wine. We had it around, like on the little field, and just talked. And then we walked around, and then we walked around some more. Earlier today, we also had tea with the vice chancellor and then we had dinner as well. And the dinner, the food was really good. Like, it was really good. I don't think it's going to be that good all the time, but... That was nice. And also, I did so much walking in these boots and I didn't have shoes on. And just let me... Just let me show you the situation. Um, yeah, I literally bled onto my new shoes. Definitely the most disgusting thing ever to look at, but it's the reality. Make sure you break in your shoes before you get here. Um, I haven't unpacked anything because I didn't have time. Well, everything is like a dream to look at. It looks like we're looking at edited photos from a guidebook, but it's like, this is real life. Like this is where we're living and this is where we're gonna be living for the next three months. So overall, pretty positive feeling today. Tomorrow I have to wake up and be at breakfast at 8.30. It's 10 right now, I'm really tired and I haven't unpacked anything so I don't really know what to do and I don't even know if I should try to unpack because I wanted to try and move the furniture around tomorrow. <sighs> so, yeah, I, I literally don't know what is happening but I'm just gonna go to bed now and I don't know, I'll let you know. Overall, London first day one, Pretty good. <laughs>